Welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2. I am T Double D. Now, when we last left off, we were finishing off the Project Firewalker mission. That's with the uh, Rosalie. We managed to finish that last episode. Now we're going to go on to, I think it's the last assignment that we have on our list. We're not going to be dealing with packages for Ish because I don't know what's going on with this mission. I pretty sure we delivered this or something we, we did something with this i forget what all right so we're just going to go on to the normandy crash site now if we finish this we could probably get to the main missions here uh probably starting off with thane's loyalty mission that's if and only if we actually get past the normandy crash site within a timely manner all right without further ado let's get into the galaxy map here and we're gonna go and find that particular mission Okay, so that's the IFF. That's not what we want to do right now. Fuel at one half capacity. No. Okay. Okay, and mass relay. We have to go to the Normandy crash. Save crashing ship. Which one's this one? Because we have all of those. Save crashing ship, huh? You know what? I'm actually going to deviate from that right, right quick and. Oh, did we already do this? Scans detect a rapidly decaying derelict ship in orbit over planet Jonas. Registration matches the MSV Broken Arrow. Ship's manifest notes volatile munitions cargo on board. If left undisturbed, the ship's trajectory will lead to impact with Jonas. High probability that the crash site will be far gone. Uh, Jonas's uh, largest human colony. Get the signatures detected aboard the MSV Broken Arrow. Okay, um, before we do this one... I'm actually going to save real quick, just in case it's not like some other mission or whatever the hell. Because um, there's the Normandy crash site, right? That's not that, that's not that mission. And I don't see saving the ship here either. And I don't see anything about it here. All of these are loyalty missions. So, yeah, I think we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna do it then. Okay, board. Who am I taking? Uh, we'll start it off with Zaid and Tally. Oh, okay. Okay, here's the captain's log here. Okay, so it looks like the Geth have invaded the ship. Oh god, we don't have time to sightsee. Okay, let's see. Um, 
We engage the power couplings. Um, okay. Alright, let's keep moving here. Uh, no, I don't want you to fucking go on the wall, please. Oh, hello. I saw refined something. Oh, shit. Okay. There's really no time for sightseeing. Where's the power? Oh, fuck off. Oh, there it is. I saw it again, there was a refined something or other. Where is it, 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 where is it? Okay, we have no time. Oh, Iridium, there it is. Okay, lost shields. way am I meant to? Okay, I gotta go to the other side. I think these guys are just gonna keep spawning in infinitely. No. Power couplings have not been engaged. What? Where's the other one then? Oh, it's down there. Okay, I completely missed it. What? Did I just... Oh, okay, I thought they were both gas. God, and it has to be a bypass, too. Why am I still hearing them fighting? Can I be killed while doing a fucking bypass? Okay, if that's the case, I did not know that. I hope that's just like ambient sound or whatever. Okay, it looks like we did the thing. Okay, but wait, what about, like, all of the geth that were already on the ship? There's, like, remaining geth have disengaged. Oh, okay. I, I don't know what that means. I guess maybe they just, like, powered themselves off? That just makes no sense. Okay, well, great. Alright, so we can't go back to that anymore. Um, Alright, mass relay. Now let's actually go and explore the Normandy crash site. Until we have a solution in place, we cannot utilize the Omega-4 Relay. Mm -hmm. Alright. Uh, okay. Nope, so close. There we go. Normandy crash site is somewhere. Oh, over here. Alcara. I have detected an anomaly. Of course you did. Oh, and it's right there. <laughs> Probe launched. I have found something. Anomaly detected. Scan scans confirmed the wreckage of the SSV Normandy on the planet's surface. No life signs or mechanical activity detected. Stable landing zone located amid the crash site. Okay, great. So let's just start the scanner and we'll just like start mining the shit out of this place. Right here. 
probe launched. Alright, where's all the- oh, hello. Probe launched. I forget that I have like a million of these, so now I'll, I don't really have to worry about wasting probes. Not that I particularly want to waste probes, but you know. Launching probe. like everything except for the one thing that I really want which is element zero it's like again this game is like really stingy with it launching probe Spike. Wait, where? Where? Somewhere over here. Somewhere. Oh, right here. Probe launched. other ones. It's gotta be something. It's still moderate, not poor or depleted. It's gotta be so- oh, hello. Right around here. Launching probe. Hello. There's like a little something here. Right here. Launching probe. Yep, I think that's about it for the planet. Let's actually land in it. Oh, I don't get to pick who I... Okay, I don't get to pick my team, apparently.
What? It's just me? Um. Okay, well, I guess this box over here is a little suspicious. Oh, dog tag. Okay. Um, oh, Izo! Yes! Yes! Izo! Oh, just what I needed, man. Just what I freaking needed. Um, oh, here's another fragile crate. Another dog tag. No, is that all this is? Is oh, God. Oh, there's a shiny thing over here. Oh god, it's just gonna be like a half hour of me collecting dog tags. No fucking way. It better not be, man. Oh. Oh, this is our old CIC. Hold F to place the monument? Monument. What oh, monument? There's a data pad I can read here. Entry 1. Uh, spoke to the commander about this. I, all these damned aliens aboard the Alliance's most advanced ship. I just don't trust them. S, that damned Asari. And a Quarian. What the Shepherd think this is? A zoo? Jesus. Oh. Uh, with the Quarian, it seems she's on some kind of pilgrimage trying to improve the lot of her home ship okay i can understand that i would babysit my children or anything but if she has to be on board i suppose that's not too bad oh probably said i wouldn't trust her to babysit my children or anything okay let's see for a while now and i'm taking a look back at past entries of the journal i can see how blind i was at the time I came on this ship firmly believing humanity was on its well, was on its own on the galaxy. Uh, Shepard brought all these aliens on board, and there's no way we could have accomplished what we did without them. I am proud to say I would die for any member of this crew, regardless of what world they were born on. Aw, okay. Interesting. Um pretty sure placing down the monument would like end the mission so i think i'd rather like explore just a little bit longer that's not what i wanted to do but okay i was actually trying to sprint n7 helmet hello how do i get up there how do i get there shepherd's lost n7 helmet was collected okay cool there's another dog tag Ooh, more Izo. Where? Where? Izo. 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 What? Oh, it's over here then. Wait, what? I keep Where is it? How am I? I don't understand it. There's Izo here somewhere, and I want it. Oh, it's over here. Oh snap, this is a cockpit. Wild, bruh. Okay. Um wow. Okay. Oh snap. Why did my weapon come out? Okay. I, I don't understand why he just started drawing his weapon, but okay. He 
probably saw the crate and was like, oh, you killed everyone. This is all your fault. Now you die. Um, okay. I can go here because I can't, but... Can I fall in here? No, I can't. Oops. There's an object. It's in here. I'm mildly surprised that Shepard, after seeing so many flashing images, isn't just in a corner of the ship, just fucking in tears or something. But then again, it is Commander Shepard, so yeah. He's a lot stronger than that. Oh, there's another dog tag around here somewhere. Why do you keep drawing your weapon, buddy? I, I holster it, thank you. Like, you, you don't need it for this. Why? 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 Um, okay. Did I score this one Let's see. Oh, this is probably the same data pad that I was looking at before. Yeah, it is. Um, okay, there was a spot that I was looking at back over here. Yeah, this thing deserves to be just, like, fucking destroyed. You know what? Oh, okay, so there is a cutscene with this, okay. I somehow completely missed it, somehow. Okay, I'm just gonna... There you go. <laughs> That's exactly what that thing deserves, man. Okay, um... Yeah, it was here, I think. I was looking at... I might be something here. I cannot get very... Oh, okay, it called it. It wasn't in here. Okay, I just need the last two, and... I'll probably place the monument. Caden? Huh. Alright. Now I just need the last one, which could be anywhere on this fucking map. Ah, jeez. Okay. Just gotta look for the last one now. Three. Okay. So it's not here. It's already been here. Oh, there it is. There's the last one. Yep. Okay. All 20 dog tags have been collected. There's probably nothing special that I got for that, except for, you know, 10, X 10 EXP per dog tag. Which, what? 20 of them times 10, that's like, what, 200 XP that I got right there? Great. As if that's going to be helpful. Um, let's see, where do I... Oh, what is this? I don't think I've searched this. Yeah, I do not remember. Okay, I'm going to place the monument in the first spot I saw. Wait, oh, no, stay again, okay. Um, press F to place monument. Press F to pay respects. <laughs> Okay, now it's going to say press F to end mission, right? No? Yes? No? No? What else is there? What's what's left? Um. Oh, did I have to place a monument at each spot? Oh, come on. Do we do we have to place a monument everywhere? Are we are we done? Oh, so we are done. This is done. Okay, so I don't have to do anything more, and we can just we can just get the fuck out of here. Okay, great, great, perfect. I that's it. We're done. We're done. Jesus. <laughs> I thought there was so much more to that, but I guess not.
Okay, a monument has been placed at the last resting place of the SSV Normandy on Alcara, and the families of all missing crew members have been notified of their ultimate sacrifice. Shepard's lost N7 helmet was recovered. Okay, great. I'm gonna guess that's like all there was to it. I might have missed some Ezo, but oh well, whatever. Okay. We have a little bit of time left. Right? Oh, yeah. We have a little bit of time left. We can do the first loyalty mission, which would be Fane. We'll probably go down the missions list here and just do everything except for stop the collectors and the uh, IFF. I don't want to advance the story a little too much, but oh wait, what am I doing? I can just go to the go to the galaxy map thing here, go to the mass relay, and then find the one that says help Fane. That's it. I'm also going to go to the fuel depot, buy some fuel, get some probes, um, mass relay. Okay, um, Fane, 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 right here. Okay, and right here to the Citadel. Wait, Fane and Garrus? Um, okay. You know what? We'll do Thane and Garrus' loyalty mission, since they're both right there. Just, just say fuck it. You know, it hasn't dawned on me until now. I actually haven't been to the Citadel or any of the other maps in, like, a very long time. Haven't been to Omega, haven't been to the Citadel, like, in a while. Just mostly just been, like, side missions and all this other shit. I think in all the other episodes, I might have forgotten that the Citadel existed. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. So, we're gonna take along uh, Garrus and Thane as well. Take both of them along. Just so I don't forget that I have to do their loyalty missions. Garrus, Thane, oh, Warp, okay. Okay. And we are done. Exit. I've found references to a forger named Fade in CSEC crime reports, Shepard. Perhaps that is a good place to start looking. Also, according to CSEC, a drill recently passed through customs. The CSEC office may have more information. Okay. Um... Alright, so... First things first, we are gonna start with Thane. Right? Go to the Citadel. Um... Right, they said to go to CSEC right quick um you'd think citadel security would be the tightest in the galaxy i know csec too well to believe that's true i see no fewer than 14 fatal flaws a skilled assassin could exploit eight of them existed when i was here 10 years ago jeez okay That's their interrogation room. Um, who do I talk to? I guess Bailey. Yes? Um, Thane's son. My associate is trying to find his son. We think a local criminal may have hired him. That should be easy. We don't see many drell here. There we go. One of my men reported a drell recently. And he was talking to Mouse. Interesting. Mouse? Ah, uh, petty criminal. Probably not the guy who hired your boy, but a messenger. He's a former duct rat. Runs errands for anyone who'll pay. What sort of trouble has Mouse been getting himself into? Odd jobs for shifty people. Duct rats take whatever is available to get by. Data running, fencing stolen goods, 
Selling illegal VI personalities. Actually, he was selling one of you. <laughs> Me? Yeah, when you erased a file, it would say, I delete data like you on the way to real errors. That's pretty extreme, Commander. Laugh it up, Garrus. Buggy, though. It crashed every half hour. The error message was about how the galaxy was at stake, and you should fix the problem yourself. <sighs> what was it you called, Mounts? A duct rat. It's a local slang for the poor kids who grow up in the station. When they're small, they tend to play in the ventilation ducts where adults can't get to them. Aren't the ducts dangerous? Every couple of months, we pull a little body out of them. Lacerated by fan blades, broken by a deadfall, suffocated by vacuum exposure. Those are just the ones we know about. More just disappear. Maybe they get sucked into space. Maybe they fall into the protein vats the keepers run. The mouse survived long enough that he can't fit in the ducts anymore. He was one of the smarter ones, or the luckier ones. Okay. I've heard enough. The mouse is usually upstairs outside the Dark Star. He works out of a public comm terminal. You should pick up a copy of the Shepherd VI when you talk to him. It sounds like your boy's running with the wrong crowd. Yes, I agree. If Mouse can't get you in touch with your son directly, he'll know who can. I'll help you if you need it. You don't know us, Captain. Why are you going so far to help us? I've worked Zakara for two years. Every day kids turn to crime because they've got no other choice, because their parents don't care. You're trying to save yours. He faces a dark path. We better hurry then. You didn't tell him that Kolyat plans to assassinate someone. He's a cop. He tried to stop Kolyat and one of them could end up dead. I don't want that. Yes, of course. All right. Thank you, Shepard. So, we have to find... Um... Oh, the Dark Star Lounge. We have to get there. Somehow. I have honestly completely forgotten how to navigate this area. <laughs> okay, so this is upstairs. Uh, this is upstairs again. I don't think we're supposed to go up this high. Fuck it. Oh, hello. Mouse, wait, there he is. Yeah, yeah, I can get that. No problem. Well, okay, that might be more difficult. No, no, it's fine. I got some quarians who can strip the copy protection. Just cost more. Yeah, I got the package. It'll be there. Don't worry. I'll deliver it myself. That won't happen. You can count on me. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, I know. I understand. Yeah, mm-hmm. You won't be disappointed. Well, I just need a bit more time. It's not my fault. Nobody told me the package was in two parts. Yeah, I know. I'll get it, don't worry. End of day, no later. You can count on it. I... I understand. That, that won't be necessary. I'll throw in a copy of the Shepherd VI. Hey, the bullets worked real hard on that. Finally he stops talking, Jesus. Yeah, sure. I can get you two cases by the end of the day. You mouse? What are you... Oh, shit. Krios. I thought you were tired. Commander Shepard? I thought you died. What do you want with me? Be still, Mouse. You can change your pants in a moment. <laughs> do you know Thane? Krios? He didn't... If he didn't say nothing, I ain't either. When we heard the name, I didn't think it could be the same Mouse. He was a contact on the Citadel when I was active. He and some other children would gather information on my targets. You put children in danger to spy for you? Children, the poor. My people's word for their kind is Dralafa, the ignored. They're everywhere, see everything. Yet they are never seen. You gave another Drell instructions for an assassination. Who's the target? I, I don't know. I didn't ask. Because the people I work for? <laughs> they can make me disappear. Not doing I that. I'd like to help you, Krios. You've always done right by us, but... I ain't gonna die for you. Look, you know Thane. He wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Do it for him. I want to. He was always nice to us. But these people ain't nice, Krios. Nobody's gonna know you talk to us. Mouse, I swear that you won't be named. All right, all right. He came with that hollow you took of me. He said he wanted a job. I ran through your old contacts to see who might give him a shot. The guy who offered was Elias Kellum. One other thing. That Shepard VI you're selling? Oh, shit. You heard... Look, 
you were dead. It was totally legal to make a VI of you. Give me a copy, we'll call it even. What? I mean, sure, yeah, absolutely. Sorry about the whole... Just so you know, there's three Volus who are patching it all the time. Tell me about Kelvin. Human. Moved to the Citadel about ten years ago. He was little people when you were here, Krios. He got big after the Geth attack. Lots of the big guys from before got cacked, all in them big fancy apartments up on the Presidium. Now he runs the rackets on the lower end of the ward. Shin Akiba. He's seriously bad news. Yeah, I, I really needed a copy of that Shepard VI. Um, damn, we don't have... We don't have, I guess, the Paragon thing that we can say up here. Um, goodbye, I guess. You did good, Mouse. Yeah. Hope I live long enough to pat myself on the back. Kellum will never know. I hope not. I'm out of here, Krios. Next time you're in town, just don't bring the family. That couldn't have been easy. Mouse knew more about my life than Kolyat ever did. He smiles up at me, broken teeth and scabby knees. Bare feet black. A dead end future looking up at me, worshipping the petty gifts I offer. I was the only good thing he had back then. But I left him as I left Kolyat. Mouse said you had a hollow of him. Yes. A foolish bit of sentimentality. I can perfectly recall every moment I spent with Mouse. He pulls at my arm, smiles. He wants to know that I'll remember him, that anyone will remember him. I take the hollow. He smiles at himself in miniature on my palm. Then a frown crinkles his brow. He pats my pockets, checking for other hollows. Where's your son, Krios, he asks. Sheesh. Don't blame yourself. If I don't, who will? We must carry the weight of our decisions, Shepard. You, of all people, know this. Let's head back to Bailey. <laughs> the funny part is that Karis is just standing there, just listening to all this. He's just... Okay. Guess I'll go fuck myself. <laughs> it's just so fucking... <laughs> oh, God. And the worst part about it is that Garrus would probably be me in real life. I'm just awkwardly standing there, just a part of it, but not taking part of anything. And it's just beautiful. Oh, God. Okay. Um, we gotta talk to fucking Bailey again. Um... Oh, jeez. Yes? Um... Can we talk about my associate's son? You talked to Mouse? Did you get the name of the guy he's working with? Elias Kellum. Kellum? Oh, shit. Uh, look, this is awkward. <laughs> Kellum and I have a, an agreement. He doesn't cause too much trouble and buys tickets to the CSEC charity ball from me. In return, I ignore him. He pays you off. You were eager to help us before. What about now? Is it too inconvenient? I said I'd help. It's just there'll be repercussions if I don't handle it right. He and I give each other space. It keeps the peace. I'll get some of my people to bring him in and set him up in a private room. You can interrogate him yourself. I'll stay out of sight. And if I'm lucky, Kellum will believe that I had nothing to do with it. Bring him in. We might not have much time. I'll make it happen. Wait here. Got Kell him. Tell Bailey we're ready. Oh boy. How is this gonna go? You'll expect me to get him out of this. Not today, I think. Snap Bailey's neck. <laughs> Captain, his lawyer's here. Bet Elias has his VI set to page him if C sec gets within ten meters. I'll stall him. Get in there and work fast. We should oh, question geez. him together. Keep the pressure on. Thoughts on how we approach it? Um. God, if how do I, how should I go about this? Um. Uh. 
Because if I be bad cop, right? So if, if I make Thane the bad cop and I'm the good cop, doesn't that give me like a lot of Paragon? But if I make Thane the good cop and me the bad cop, then I get a lot of Renegade. And I don't really want Renegade at the moment. Um, you know what? Screw it. You talk to him. Appeal to his self-interest. I'll put the screws to him if he needs it. Very well. I'll pretend to be on his side. But if we waste too much time negotiating, Bailey won't be able to stall Kellum's advocate. Ah, oh, jeez. Because that means I'm going to have to do renegade actions. Yeah, these are strains, Bailey. Pretty funny bringing me down here like this. The hell are you two? I knew I should have. <laughs> Damn it. Um. Well. Shit. Because I'm not gonna have enough for the. Can I? No, I can't get out of here. <laughs> oh, damn it. Ah. Uh, well, I'll just play with the hand that I've been dealt. Bailey has nothing to do with this. We just want a few answers. Off the record. Off the record in a C-Sec interrogation room? Sure. You hired an assassin. Who do you want dead? I want to see my advocate. Your advocate hasn't arrived. We're trying to find him. I'm not saying a damn word until he's here. You two are in way over. Pay attention, Mr. Kellum. That wasn't a good idea, kid. That is gonna cost you. Control your temper. We want him to talk. Sorry. My associate gets a little excited during interrogations. Hit me again, asshole. Every punch is another credit in my pocket. Works for me. No! Do you know what I'll do to you when I get out of here? Keep it up, tough guy. You'll leave in a bag. Go to hell. He's up. He's no use to us dead. Are we done here? Because I got people to see. Like the guy who's gonna sue your ass for assault. How about this? You tell us the target, you never see us again. And Bailey drops his price 50%. Yeah? Can I get that in writing? I don't think either of us want this in writing. Alright. I ain't going to jail for the tadpole. And I do love a bargain. Joram Talid. Turian running for office on the Zakira War. He messes with legitimate businessmen. I'm gonna stop it. Where and when? His apartment, the 800 blocks. You better hurry. What's going on here? Get away from my client. You... you played me! <laughs> I've enjoyed our chat, Elias. Thanks for your help. This isn't over. Nicely done. Wait. You got what you wanted. Who ratted me out? I guess I'll have something to think about while you're in here, huh? I'll find out. And once I have a name... Elias, as your legal advocate, I advise you to shut the hell up. Where were you five minutes ago? Held up in traffic. What's the story? Why'd Kellum hire the boy? Assassination. A Turian named Joram to lead. You know him? Joram? Yeah. You might have seen his posters around. He's promising to end organized crime on the ward. Thing is, his message is all mixed up in race politics. He's anti-human. Are things so bad that people can openly campaign as anti-human? Before the Battle of the Citadel, the alien population thought we were violent upstarts. Look what's happened since then. A human fleet guarding the station for months? C-Sec filled with humans? Anderson does what he can, but some people have lived on the station since before humans had starships. They see it as a coup. If a majority votes for him, like it or not, that's how the system works. That's a nice ideal, Shepard. Sergeant, get a patrol car. These two need to get to the 800 blocks. Yes, sir. All right. Well, kind of off to a shaky middle. I can't really say start. Because I, I kind of, I definitely picked the wrong choice there with uh, being bad cop. I should have picked the other option. Have Thane be bad cop and me be good cop. But that's okay. That's okay. 
plenty of other time to get Paragon. There he is. How do you want to play this? Follow the lead of the maintenance catwalks. Tell me what he's doing. The Krogan bodyguard will make him easy to follow. Where will you be? The darkest corner with the best view. Amon Kira, Lord of Hunters. Grant that my hands be steady, my aim be true, and my feet swift. And should the worst come to pass, grant me forgiveness. That is fucking cool, man. Ah, oh, Jesus. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I'm on him, Thane. He's talking to some voters. Understood. You're in position? Yes. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. I'm following. Have you got him? Looks like he's talking to another voter. Any sign of Cole yet? No. I'm moving to another position. Ahead of him. It's been wonderful talking with you all. I hope you'll come out on election day. Oh, is he just gonna say that over and over and over again? No problem so far. Oh, fuck. Oh, there he is. Okay, good. Thought I lost him for a moment there. Do you have the target? I've got him. Target in sight. Oh, shit. He's gone inside a store. Um, did I fail? What's going on? Or did this mission just bug out? I didn't get to hear... I... Okay. Well, nothing's happened so far. I haven't gotten the mission failed screen, so... I guess we're fine? Question mark? We have to be. Oh, he's walking down, so I gotta go down this way. Why are you running? Why why are you running? <laughs> I'm not even trying to make a meme here. Why is he running? Why was he running before? Okay, so he's in some dance lounge now. Uh, now he's going... What the fuck? Where'd he go? Okay, good. I didn't lose him. One of his guards is talking to the bartender. Looks like a shakedown. No sign of trouble. Okay, so far so good. Oh. Where is he now? He's meeting a couple of mercenaries. Looks like the same group his bodyguard comes from. He looks nervous. Could be he's noticed you. Maybe he saw Kolyad in here somewhere. Also a possibility. There are obstructions ahead. I'll try to go around. Don't lose him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus. Okay. Hey, who are you? I don't have time for this. Oh, sorry, buddy. There was definitely time for Renegade, or time for Paragon, but that wasn't it. Oh, he's right there. Alright, that's him, right? Should be, right? Why are they just standing there? Everybody else is moving, why aren't they? Why are they just standing there? 
Am I meant to do something? Oh, I was meant to go in here. What? That doesn't make any sense. C-Sec, put the gun down, son. Get out of my way. I'm walking out. He's coming with me. They'll have snipers outside. I don't need your help. What the hell? That was a Paragon action? Please, get the hell out of here. That was a Paragon action? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I will. How was that a Paragon action? <laughs> Take the boy into custody. You son of a bitch! Your father doesn't have much time left, Cole, yet. He's trying to make up for his mistakes. What? So you came to get my forgiveness? So you can die in peace or something? I came to grant you peace. You're angry because I wasn't there when your mother died. You weren't there when she was alive. Why should you be there when she died? Your mother. They killed her to get to me. It was my fault. What? After her body was given to the Deep, I went to find them. The Trigger Men. The Ringleaders. I hurt them. Eventually killed them. When I went back to see you, you were... older. I should have stayed with you. I guess it's too bad for me you waited so long, huh? Colyet, I've taken many bad things out of the world. You're the only good thing I ever added to it. This isn't a conversation you should have in front of strangers. Boys, take Colyet and his father back to the precinct. Give them a room and as much time as they need. I'm surprised you're letting him do that. You think he's the only man who ever screwed up raising a son? I have to get back to the precinct. Come on, I'll give you a lift. All right. That is Thane's loyalty mission done. We got a new power from him. Uh, looks like Shredder ammo. All right, increases damage to health or, or, or organic targets. We got a new outfit for him as well. Awesome. Though I kind of like the outfit that I already got for him, but I guess this one's also cool. Okay. And we got some money too. Nice. And we got a level up. Okay. So this is good. It's very good. When squad members become loyal, they gain unique individual powers, as we've already witnessed. Now, next, we have to do Garrus' loyalty mission. And I don't particularly care if the timer runs out here. We're still going to complete that. Oh, okay. We're not done here on the Citadel, I guess. They've been in there a while. Yeah, the kid's been through a lot. I ran some searches in the CSAC archive. About ten years back, a bunch of real bad people were killed. Like someone was cleaning house. The prime suspect was a drill. We never caught him. Ten years is a long time. Whoever was responsible for that probably doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. It was definitely Fane that killed all those people. How'd it go? Our problems are... They aren't something I can fix with a few words. We'll keep talking, see what happens. Your boy shot some people. No one I feel sympathy for, but there it is. I watched those guys shaking down businesses and threatening humans. But he can't just get away with it. The kid wants to make a difference. Give him community service. 
Community service for attempted murder? What jury would agree to that? None that I've seen. This would need to stay out of the judiciary. Strictly within CSEC. Interesting. I'll think about it. Thank you, Captain. Ah, my timer literally just ran out as we were finishing this. So... Um... Hmm. You know what? I'll probably end it off there. This video has been lengthy enough. Simply just because of the freaking Normandy crash site. Ah. Uh, I guess for the next episode, we are definitely going to be taking care of Garrus' loyalty mission. I can save here, correct? Yes, I can. Okay, so... That'll be where I have to end off in the video for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like in the video. Be sure to subscribe for more content. Also, be sure to follow me on all of my socials. They'll be in the description down below, so make sure you check them out. And anyways, I am T-Double-D, sending you my double deuces. Later.